Well, as talks break down between UPS and union leaders, millions of deliveries could now be at risk. There was picketing practice today as UPS workers have authorized a strike if a new contract is not ratified by the end of the month. Fox 4's Lori Brown live with the story. Lori. Steve, both sides are accusing the other of walking away from the negotiating table. A Teamsters union representative told us that workers are eager to strike if the company doesn't offer a better deal. Show me the money! To show the company they mean business, dozens of UPS employees held a practice picket in Fort Worth this morning. The union representing over 340,000 UPS Teamster delivery and warehouse logistics workers across the country is threatening to strike if a contract is not ratified by July 31st. Now we've got people that are being forced to come in on a sixth day, and that's, this is uh, outdoor work in the heat. Uh, and we're, we, we've got people that are, that are sick of it. Scott Sexton, a union leader for Teamsters Local 767, says workers are fighting for better pay for newer employees, creating more full-time positions, and addressing safety and health concerns. The last time UPS workers went on strike was in 1997. And now we have some of those same issues. Sexton was on the strike lines in 97. If that was 15 days, we're prepared to go 15 weeks or as long as it takes to get a fair contract. A spokeswoman for UPS told us in a statement, the Teamsters have stopped negotiating despite historic proposals that build on our industry leading pay. We have nearly a month left to negotiate. We have not walked away and the union has a responsibility to remain at the table. Refusing to negotiate, especially when the finish line is in sight, creates significant unease among employees and customers and threatens to disrupt the U.S. economy. UPS pilots are expected to stand with workers on the ground and not cross picket lines. Mike Davis, an economist with SMU's Cox School of Business, says a strike would hurt the economy in many different ways. It will be more expensive to get good ship. Davis says it is almost impossible to predict all of the ripple effects from a UPS shipping shutdown. Just one example, car dealers, right? How do they get parts? Well, many of them get shipped by UPS. If the dealership can't get the part, they can't fix your car. While there would be a strike fund to pay employees for a time, Davis says the longer the uncertainty goes on, the greater likelihood of future layoffs. Long-term customers of UPS are going to start looking to other, um, other sources. So UPS is going to start losing business long before the strike actually happens. UPS profits have ballooned more than 60% compared with before the pandemic, according to company earnings statements. The National Retail Federation is urging both the company and union to continue negotiations to avoid a strike.